Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Miriam. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome back and thank you. So, Gemini, we're going to take a look at a little bit of love, life, and advice for you for your bonus reading for March. My intention with this is if your March readings didn't resonate, maybe something here will. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching. Doesn't really matter. And I may or may not be continuing these, uh, Gemini. Leave me some feedback, comments in the uh, comment section below. I may discontinue them or I may turn them into elemental readings, bonus readings, air, earth, fire, water. So let me know what you think. Um, everything you need to know is down below in the description box, personal reading information, all kinds of stuff there. Please check that out. And also, I'm still uh, having the giveaway open if you'd like to enter that through March for a tarot deck, free tarot deck, and a free 20-minute reading by me as an appreciation for reaching 10,000 subscribers. So uh, please check that out if you're interested in that. And if you uh, do, good luck to you. And also, if you head on over to the community tab on my channel, there's two polls there I would like everyone to participate in. Um, what kind of readings you would like to see per month and if you would be interested in extended readings on Vimeo. So that would be greatly appreciated if you could go and check that out. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you for this bonus reading for March. Love, life, and advice for Gemini. For March, Spirit, please. Let's take a little, little look at love for Gemini. Gemini, what's going on for Gemini at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see. These cards are a little hard to shuffle, but let's take the top one here. And we have power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. So let's see what's on the bottom. It says here, it's important right now to take a step back. Spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So some of you here, it may be time to take your power back for some reason and take some alone time, some you time to think about, decide about um, what is best for you, what you want from a relationship. Is this the kind of relationship that you want that you're in right now? Is it truly made for you? Is it truly what you want? Is it truly fulfilling for you? Um, or if you have someone that is trying to control you or takes control of you, uh, maybe it's time to take your power back and just retreat for a little bit here. So I don't know. We'll see. We're going to clarify, um, with the tarot once we get, uh, these pulled. So let's take a look at life for you. So this is telling you also to follow your intuition because you have the power to walk away or do what's best for you at any time. And then it's telling you to take some time for you. So maybe a big message there for somebody that needs to hear that right now. And if I can get my cards to shuffle properly. <laughs> All right. So let's get Gemini. What's going on in life right now for you, Gemini, for this bonus reading for March spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right, feeling that one. And we have five of summer, dragonfly. Focus upon the fact that God loves you and always has the highest intentions for you. A positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life's little difficulties so that you can move forward, move onward and upward. And I said forward, so maybe that may be a message. So this is the five of cups. So this is kind of about, about feeling sad and hurt either over a loss or just uh or it could be regret it could be anything here but that's an energy of feeling just sad and hurt of some you know some reason so let's see what's on the bottom here so we have justice wow i just had this for libra so elephant fear decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially have compassion for others and try to see this all sides of a disagreement so maybe you had a disagreement with somebody here and you're feeling a little sad about that but it looks like there could be justice brought in uh 
maybe forgiveness, maybe just truth, clarity, scales balancing out here. All right, so we're going to get some advice for you. Advice for you, Gemini. Advice for you, Gemini. For this bonus reading for March. <clears throat> what is the advice for Gemini? For this bonus reading for March, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. And that one. Wow, letting go. I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flowing of life. So this is just to go with the flow. Don't try to control things so much. This could also be you feeling like you have power and control over a relationship, a person, or something. It doesn't have to be in a bad way, but um, but this is also telling you to let go of control uh, and just going with the flow or to actually let go of something no longer serving you. <clears throat> and on the bottom here, we have listening with your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. So again, listening to your heart. What does your heart truly want? Is it time to let go and move on? Or not? Okay, so let's clarify these energies for you, Gemini. Listen to your heart, your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, your gut, uh, what you truly want and desire. Is it truly fulfilling for you? All right. Gemini. Let's clarify this energy for Gemini spirit, please. What is this power about? And taking some time for you and giving to yourself. What is this for? Wow. That's too many. I'm not feeling with this one. So yeah, this is temperance. So healing, balance, patience, energy. So yeah, it's time to balance out your energy, to have peace and harmony and be patient and healing. Whatever, whatever you decide is meant for you, divinely guided. This angel always brings you something divinely guided for you in the world. So it may be time here to close out a chapter and start new chapters here. You got two majors. Wow. So this is something maybe major for you. You may be feeling, you know, <laughs> For some of you, it may not be for everyone. King of Swords, so that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So having total mental clarity, <clears throat> speaking with truth. Also, you can use that sword. To, it may be a little cold energy sometimes, So, but also it can be that energy of using these swords here to cut away things that are no longer serving you. Telling it like it is, standing up, not backing down kind of energy. All right, so... What else for Gemini? Ten of Swords. Yeah, painful, hurtful ending here. Wow. So some of you feel like this, <clears throat> some of you in a relationship feel like it's just, it's like ran, ran its course. And maybe time here to feeling like having that clarity, maybe time here, maybe to try to heal it. You know, the situation, being patient with it, but also knowing it may be time to Close it out and move on because it's just done here with the Ten of Swords. Definitely was a soulmate energy here, though. So it was somebody that probably did love at one time, felt like it was a soulmate. That is the soulmate. But you got the ending here of a soulmate situation. Yeah, somebody needs to take control of the situation with the Emperor. And that is that power card. So that definitely represents... Um, the emperor, emperor, empress doesn't matter. So we have Sagittarius, we have um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and now we have Aries. And over here we have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. So <clears throat> some someone may need to take control, the charge of the situation, feeling like maybe the soulmate energy is ran its course, having that clarity, knowing maybe time just to have closure, complete the cycle, heal, you know, heal it, be patient. Uh, having peace and harmony and just ending it and start. You got two cards of ending, but then the world is always a new beginning or a new cycle in life. So, wow. So some of you probably wondering here, 
do I, can I have the power, should I take the power in the reins here uh, to do what's right? So let's see what this Five of Summer and Justice is about. So now we have the Queen of Cups. So it could be, you know, about love. could be apologies um, here. What else? What is this justice and the sadness here? Palace of Swords. Wow. So these are coming out tonight. These don't usually come out that often, and I've been getting uh, a lot of them in these readings. So this does have to do, again, with a soulmate. Or this could be a, bro a brother, a sister, um, old friends and family of the past, someone you've known for a long time. But we do have the Palace of Swords, which is living now just a total space of truth, clarity, you know, again, that sword energy, truth, clarity, standing up, back, not backing down, speaking truth, honest communication kind of energy, cutting away the things no longer serving, just living in an energy of peace and harmony and love and compassion and fulfillment. So, you know, Six of Cups could also be about um, nostalgia, childhood memories, things of your childhood. Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. All right, what else here? Ace of Swords, wow. So we have the Ace of Swords, which is a brand new beginning based on truth and clarity and all that sword energy. Victorious new beginning in the Palace of Swords. With a soulmate or the Ten of Cups, which there's a lot of love here. Wow, so this could be... For two separate groups of people here. What we got justice on justice. Are you kidding me? Wow. So double justice, Libra. Some of you may be thinking about leaving a relationship that's no longer working because it's ran its course. Someone just needs to take control and say it. And over here we have, um, I feel like there's another group of people where... You know, there might have been disagreements or a sadness or something here between two people. But now, it, this could actually be coming together with a soulmate after someone else is left behind. Could it be divorce or something? And now coming together with your true soulmate. And living in this Ten of Cups in the Palace of Swords, this victorious new beginning. Definitely is love and emotions here with the Queen, King and Queen of Cups, doesn't matter. Definitely soulmate past life energy here. Getting justice, serving justice. Wow. So over here we have Libra and Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So however that resonates for you. If it's not about love, it's just if you had a disagreement with an old friend, a family member here, I just see things balancing out, having truth and clarity, you know, getting justice, you know, being like a knit, a tight knit family or friend again here. And having a victorious new beginning and just living in an energy or being in an energy with this person of um, mental truth and clarity. All right. So I feel like, you know, if there was a disagreement or something or you haven't been talking, I feel like a big conversation, honest, open conversation needs to be had. Communication, which will put everything back into the Ten of Cups energy. A peace, happiness. All right, so. All right, so let's see here. <clears throat> and Libra, you may be the one that needs to reach out because we do have your swords. We have one, two, three. We have your energy here three times, four times if you count that. You could be in dealing with a water sign. Cancer yes, Scorpio Pisces could be a mother, a sister, um, a friend. What is this letting go? Yeah, being indecisive here. Letting go, listening with your heart. Ace of coins, so stable new beginning. Long term, prosperity, growth, abundance, stability. But moving, something moving very quickly here. So let's see what else here. Somebody either rushing in or out or something just moving forward very, very quickly. But it's very stable it's for the long term. Something you may be, uh, you may need to make a decision on. You're having a hard time making a decision. I feel like you just need to let it go, go with the flow, not be so caught up in your head. 
and I'll let it come either to you or just move forward with it already. Four of Swords. So yeah, I, maybe you're not taking action on this, whatever it is for you. And we have the Knight of Swords here, which is a very fast-paced action card. And this is all your energy, Libra. Sword, sword, sword. This will lead you to the Ten of Coins. Total growth, abundance, prosperity for the future. Never having to worry. Being very stable and grounded. Being abundant. Having everything you need. And you can make it happen here with the Magician manifesting this brand new beginning. So you can manifest this brand new beginning. If you let go, go with the flow. Just, you know, don't be so blind and caught up in your head. Because you have the Ace all the way to the Ten. This is just take action on this and manifest this because it'll bring you total abundance for a lifetime. Wow, Gemini. Did I keep calling you Libra? I'm sorry, Gemini. I just did Libra. So, uh, yeah, this is for Gemini. I just, just did Libra. And there's so many cards here of Libra. We've got justice, justice. So, yeah, this is for Gemini. I'm sorry. So, it's been a long week. I had like 11 hours of overtime in my daytime job. So, <laughs> it's been a very long week. So, here we have the Eight of Coins. So, putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. It could be an offer coming in here. Very stable, grounded offer um, coming into you. It could be a new job, raise, promotion. Um, and here's you working, working hard at this. So whatever it is here for you, Gemini, uh, some of you, however the energies, uh, resonate for you. I don't want to go over the whole thing again, but, uh, however they resonate for you. So best of luck to you, Gemini, sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.